رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا تنما What if one cleans his teeth with miswak and pieces of the miswak and the wetness from the miswak reaches his throat? Does his fast break? Well, pieces of the miswak are pieces. If you deliberately swallow them, they break your fast. Likewise, if I have a piece of meat between my teeth and I do this and I do this and it comes out and I swallow it, if it's in prayer, it breaks my prayer because this is considered eating. And if I'm fasting, it breaks my fasting because this is deliberate eating. This is different from someone who finds something and he tries to take it out, but it's so small and negligible, it goes to the back of his throat. There's no way he can take it out. And he swallows it unintentionally. This doesn't impact your fasting. A piece of miswak that was there, I didn't pay attention to it, I didn't know it existed, and all of a sudden, it's at the back of my throat, and I swallowed it unintentionally. It doesn't impact your fasting. What about the liquid in the miswak itself? It does not impact your fasting because never it was reported to us that the Prophet used to brush his teeth and spit it out. So this liquid is so negligible, it has no impact. It's exactly like when you rinse your mouth in wudu and you spit it out, there remains an amount of water mixed with your saliva. This is negligible.